what you want to do, of course, is you want to, especially if you're new, uh, you want to open computer window. On the desktop, we'll open the computer window. And in the computer window, we'll go to the classroom data drive Z for our network folder. We'll scroll down to our class, which is Campos WordPress. I've been saving my work there every week, so you probably have as well. And if you forgot to bring your flash drive and such, my work is there. So you can open up Campos WordPress. And the last time we were here on 511, that's the that's the site that I ended up with. So you're gonna right-click and copy that. I'm gonna copy it, right-click copy. And then in another window, we're going to go to the WAMP folder. Remember, everything that we're working with is in this WAMP um, app. So once I've copied 5.11, uh, we can go up to the computer window, open another window, this time to the local disk, C. C as in cat. So we'll open local disk C. We'll scroll down to WAMP folder open WAMP folder, and then open www folder. And that's where we're pasting. So we're copying the work from Thursday from the network folder into the folder of WAMP. This, of course, is uh, from my notes. My notes are in a specific order, uh, but in this case it doesn't quite matter what order you do it. In my notes it says create the database, and then copy the folder in here, Technically, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll make the database now, but the point is that we need the project in the WAMP folder, and then we need to work with with WAMP. Yes. So, what's the difference between that one and the C folder, and the Z and the C folder? Um, your your WW folder is in the C folder, not in the Z folder. Exactly, Z or Z, the Z folder. Uh, that one is a folder where I give you files, but you cannot do anything in it. You can just copy files. The C drive, C as in cat, is your computer, what you can do on your computer. So you're copying from the Z folder, from the Z folder, you're copying the work to your computer. So you have to take it from my computer, basically, to your computer, C drive. Okay, so when we download one server, it downloads in the C drive. Mm -hmm. When we download there, it will create the WW folder. Yes. So when you are trying to, every time you click on that one server, mm. or one, yeah, one server, it mm -hmm. gives you a list of things, right? So when you go to the local mm -hmm. it takes you to the C drive, mm -hmm. and that's where you should be able to see the WW folder in there? Yes. Yeah, the C drive is your local disk, it's your computer. When you install WAMP, it's on your computer. The network folder Z drive is just there for me to give you to pass files to you. But once you get your file, you put it on your C drive and it's on your computer. Do you always have to have the two separated? No. Even if you work your own? Nope. Here we have Z drive so that we can share files. But at home, you, you don't need it because it's you only have one computer, your, your own computer. I have here 32 computers, mine and yours. So I have to. I can also follow the same process to generate a folder that I can take somewhere else. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. All right, so uh, we copy the folder in there. And next, from the desktop, we can double click. Start WAP server. I don't think there says start, but anyway, you see WAP server. Double click that. You'll start your WAP server icon. In the corner, you'll have a little green W appear. So once that starts, you'll see the little W. It should go from red to green. On the bottom corner, bottom right corner, we have the little WAP server icon. Don't worry that it, that it says server offline. As long as it's green, it's working. So you'll want to click. You'll want to click there and select localhost. 
That'll start your web browser and take you to localhost. So this is showing WAMP server is running. I copied 5.11 into the WW folder, so it shows I have that project. But according to my handout, we can't use the project yet. We need a database. We need to go to PHP my admin screen. So we need to uh, create this database so that I can put so that I can connect the the 511 project with the with the database. Yes. If you create the, uh, the database prior to seeing the folder on the list, is that not good? That's not really a problem. Uh, you can create the database first. You just need a database at some point before you go to the installer. So the installer will exist once you copy the folder into WW folder. So there's no way to get to it until you have, you know, until you have copied the file there. So at some point, you need the database. So either copy it first, database first, doesn't matter, but you're going to need both eventually. All right, so I'm on the localhost WAMP server screen. I'm going to click the PHP my admin here to create the database. So we see the we see the PHP my admin screen is pretty scary, but we've done it a few times. Remind me, what's the next step here? Database. Database. So the button at the top, click the database button. I'm going to create a new database. The one from previously is not here anymore. Remember, every time our computer turns off, everything erases. This is why we have to do this every time. Uh, yeah, the uh, duplicator plugin makes a perfect copy of your site, but it still needs a database to work, and it erases the database every time. So we need to create it again here. Databases. In the box here, we can create a brand new database. Again, this database can have any name. I can create a database called Kitty Cat, and it'll work as long as I use that name on the next step. So if you call yours my site, my site, sure, my site. If I call it my site, anything you want, uh, this will work as long as you use that name on the next step when we're on the duplicator screen. Yes. So let me. You have to. Uh, okay. So you do the work. WordPress, mm -hmm. but the file is named a number, right? A date. Mm -hmm. So it's still going to find it? It will, yes. It doesn't matter. This this database could be the name of the of the file, of the folder. Sure. Anything here will work. It, it will find it, yeah. So when you look at it, never going to look for that particular name that you put there. It will, because we will tell it on the next step when we go into the installer screen, it asks you, what's the name of your database? The default that it shows is WordPress, but if I call, again, my site DB, if I type my site DB in installer PHP, it'll work. So any name that we want here will work as long as you remember what it is and spell it the same. Just to show you that, keep it as WordPress. I'm going to call mine Kitty Cat just to show you, but keep it as WordPress. Go to create. It'll show I've got a brand new database. Kitty cat, no space, no capital letters. It's alphabetical. It's alphabetical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got a database. Uh, we've got the folder in the right place, so we go up on the address localhost slash the, the folder name, 2015.05.11, installer.php. Do you need to open a new window, or can you do it on the same window? I'm done. We're done with PHP my admin, so I'm going to use the same window, but we could open another window, although we're not going to use PHP my admin anymore past this step. Yes? Okay, I'm, I'm putting kitty-cat create, and then the next step after that is... Oh, the next step after that, click the create button, and then up here, the next step is we're typing the name of the of the folder yeah, where the installer file is at. That's on the folder. Yeah. 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 No, you have to type it. So up on the address bar, just delete that address and type that address instead.
feedback. I'm not that advanced, and I'm just still following the steps. No, I mean here, we have two databases, more than a two I don't know. I, all I know is that the last one we did, you just put it in, and that's as far as I can get. Excuse me. Yes. How the system finds out you are now working for Kimika and Goldcat? On the next step here. Because we have both of them. I haven't, I haven't done it yet. We, we just put it in the right folder and we're coming here next. So uh, we copied the folder into the right folder and we started a database and we went to the file localhost 2017.05.11 installer and I'm seeing that so I'll click next. Yes. That's, that's, that's what you have to the right Yeah. The name of the folder, exactly, 511. So that's what's in the www folder. And that's the address then to find it. So if my site was called, if the folder of my site was called my site, I would type localhost slash my site slash installer dot php. So would you put the my site? Well, technically, that's the name of the folder. It has a name. It needs a name. Right. That's a number right there. So when you put it on, 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 uh, on the uh, local uh -huh. uh, browser, the installer PHP. Uh -huh. But in the prior to that, when you put my uh, kitty cat, uh -huh. did you have to put a name, or what did you go put a name? Can, can you do the back? Can you have no, you can't leave it blank. You need a database. A database needs a name. So blank is not a name. It needs a name. There's any no way. Okay. Any name? Yeah, that's why I'm showing Kitty Cat. Uh, any name. Exactly. Yeah, that's the name of the folder. Yeah. Yes. My duplicator and under archive says fail. I'll check yours in one moment. That might be. You need to confirm that in your. In your folder, the only thing in the folder is a is the zip file and the installer. Now, because I've already proceeded with one oh. step, it looks like this. But if it's failing before you can get I to this step, the zip file. yeah, you don't. We deleted the we deleted the zip file last time after we uncompress after we brought oh. the site back, so we don't want to delete it's it before. Good. Yeah. In this step here, this is where it has to do the name of the database. I created a database called Kitty Cat. So if you created a database called WordPress, this is how it knows which database. So if you created a database called WordPress a moment ago, you type WordPress here. But I created one called Kitty Cat, so I'll type Kitty Cat. I have to remember how I spelled it. Did I spell it capital K, capital C, dashes, underscores? That's why it's just really simple to keep it as WordPress. I didn't create a database called WordPress. I created a database called Kitty Cat. User is root, password is nothing. That's in the handout, and that's what we've been doing over and over. This is the name of the user that connects to the database. Yes? There you can put WordPress or you can put Kitty Cat. Either one of those no. Work. no. No. Think about it logically. If you created a database in phpMyAdmin called WordPress, this has to be WordPress. Why would you type Kitty Cat here if you created a database called WordPress in the phpMyAdmin screen? Because I'm thinking of the name of the folder. The, the, nope. uh, this is not asking for the folder. This is asking for the database. The database in the phpMyAdmin is called Kitty Cat. It doesn't matter the folder. The folder is 2017.05.11. It's not listed here anywhere. But it doesn't no, matter. Okay. So you would still get you to the same folder, right? Yeah. We're in the same folder. We're in the folder right now. Okay. So here, if this, uh, if we're doubting ourselves, we can click test, and it should say success. So if this gives you a fail, that means, well, your database, what did you call your database? in phpMyAdmin, or user and password, but it's always root and password is empty. That worked at this moment, so I'm going to click Next. It's going to confirm you're about to install, so I'll click Yes. 
That'll go for a moment. Um, there it is. As we've seen before, we don't really need to change anything here, so I'll just click Next. So based on my handout, we've been going along on these steps. We've created the database. We've gotten to step four out of four. Here's where we do just two things. We save the permalink and we do the security cleanup. So I'll click Save Permalinks. We're going to log in with the account that we've been using over and over, which is admin and password. Remember, at the moment, we're using the worst login, admin and password. This should be a better one later, but for us in class, as we're learning, this is good enough. So admin is the username, and password is the password, lowercase. I'm going to log in on that. Confirm that we made this setting uh, a couple of weeks ago, post name. Uh, so it should be here, set to post name. If it's not, you can change it, but I'm going to keep it at post name and then save. This created a different window. Uh, I'm in the permalink screen. I'm finished with the permalink screen, so I'll close that. Go back to duplicator, and next we've got security cleanup. I saved the permalink. We'll test it as we go. Report, I didn't get any errors, so nothing to do there. Security cleanup. That'll take us back into a new, uh, a new window where we have to then click, let's delete the reserved files. This is, a, this is the step about cleaning up the old site. Click on that one time, you get a bunch of uh, feedback that says these files were removed, except for the zip file. This is the part here where we need to manually remove the zip file. We don't need the zip file anymore at this step now because the site is back to life. This is what I have in my handout. Uh, step uh, 7 and 8. After it succeeds, uh, recommend a few steps, follow them, return to the www folder, and delete the remaining zip file if you no longer need it. So then the site is back. Yes. I'll be with you one moment. Let me finish this thought and I'll be right there. So I'm going to go to my back to my WW folder. Inside the 25th, uh, the, the 511 folder, there's the zip file that I don't need anymore. So I'm going to delete the zip file. Now I've got the site back and I'm done except for one more thing that you will do on your own because it's really easy the rewrite module part. So you should add your site back up to this point. We'll check that everyone's on the same path, and then we'll go on. is when we log in. Every time. No, no, no. It's when we're on. 
Yes. Oh, that thing has to be good. That's why it's a good idea to click test first. So check, it, check on your real database if you have them. Put too many T's. Check the name of your database. You put too many T's. So follow the next two steps and you're on the way
So just go uh, check the handle and do some buttons and the air mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's right.
Right, so the site uh, is back, and I'm going to do this final step. You probably already did it, but I'm going to do it right now. Uh, the rewrite module thing, we need to do that one. So I'm going to click on the web server icon on the bottom right corner, the little green W. I'm going to click on it, Apache, Apache modules, and we, write, we want rewrite module. So it's a big list, but down there alphabetically, I'm going to find rewrite module. I'm going to turn on rewrite module. And that's what that was about. Since we were using pretty permalinks previously, I needed to turn this on. Once I turn this on, I'm ready to go. So we've done these steps together a few times. Uh, Starting on Thursday, you're going to need to do this on your own without my help because my handout is there. You know, we've done it together. I've given a lot of individual help, so you should be able to try it at least on your own starting on Thursday. Uh, so the site is all back. I'm going to click to dashboard and we can get started with today's work. We've done this several times together. Then at the end of the day, we'll do the, we'll do the first part again about making the 
the backup. We've done that a few times together. We'll do it again one more time, and then uh, starting Thursday, uh, you'll do it on your own. So again, this is the third week of the class. Next week is the last week, and then it ends. We have a whole total of eight sessions, and we were doing these things together several times. Eventually, obviously, you need to fly the nest and do it yourself. So we're going to give that a shot on Thursday. You're going to need to do it yourself. Five weeks? Yeah. You still need to fly. So. <laughs> Is it five weeks? Or five. Hmm. Okay, well, that'll be good practice for you to do it yourself. So, uh, today, uh, the big uh, plan for today is to start to look at plugins.